Okay, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick video that I can put on YouTube for you guys to have a look at if you're having any trouble connecting your PC and your MPC up together to record some outgoing audio. So, what we've got here is uh, an MPC 500, as you can see, and we're going to hook this up to my PC uh, in a number of ways and then show you how to record the audio that's coming out of that so you can then uh, use that as an MP3 and host it uh, on a website such as MySpace. Okay, um, you're probably familiar with the rear of the, the MPC 500. The connections that we are worried about today are these here, the outputs, left and right. Okay, so get a suitable lead with a left and a right uh, mono end on it, like that. And I'm using a, basically a phono or RCA lead with uh, some adapters on the end there. Okay. Uh, so connect that up to your outputs, like so, and then on the other end of that particular lead, I've got two matching RCA male plugs. Now on my particular PC, and I'll just use some handheld camera movement here, on my particular one, I've got a Sound Blaster Audigy with a breakout box. And what I'm interested in, he says, as he's trying to get the camera around, are these bits here. They're an audio input, so I just put the matching plugs in there, like so. Make sure they're properly seated. Now, you might not have phono inputs on your PC. It might be that you have a laptop, and on the laptop, you might have something like this, which are three and a half mil stereo jacks, one for headphones and one is marked up with a microphone. Um, most laptops are stereo inputs, but depending on your machine you'll either have a three and a half mil socket like that, or you'll have a 6.4 mil socket such as your regular headphone jack type, or you'll have RCA phonos like we've just seen. Either way, you need to get an appropriate lead with the two connections on either end, so make sure you get the right connection. And just to further demonstrate this example, here is another lead which has got phonos on one end, and on the other end it has a 3.5mm stereo jack. So that is ideal for the laptop. This end goes in the laptop, this end with adapters, will go in the back of the MPC. Okay? So that's all you need is one of these leads. You can get them from in the UK, places like Maplins or Radio Shack in the US or something very similar to that. Okay, back to the MPC. So what we actually need to do now is record the audio onto the PC and for that we're going to need an audio recording program. Now that could be a program that comes with your sound card. Only you will know this because you'll see this uh, software when you install it. However, I'm going to use a program uh, that you can find on the internet for free, and it's called Audacity. Okay, so again, excuse the uh, the handheld camera movements here. So I'm going to choose Audacity here, and I hope you can see that. And let me just double check that I can see it and that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so at the very top here, let me just minimize that. At the very top here, we have our transport controls, so they're pretty familiar to anyone. Um, I'm not going to go into any great detail about Audacity, you can find that out for yourself on the website. But when you set it up, you've got to choose preferences first. And by doing that, you select your input and output from your sound card. Now, I've got a Sound Blaster Audigy, so I'm choosing that as both my output playback device and also my recording device. I've also set up my sound card to record what it hears. And this is an option that I've got in my drop down menu just here. I can choose which input of my sound card I want to record from. So I can choose what you hear, which is a Creative Labs kind of special thing. Or I can actually use uh, auxiliary in number two, 
which is the direct input uh, which I have my MPC plugged into and I can use choose the input volume here um, using the slider there okay so I'll leave it just about there we might redline a little bit but it shouldn't be too much of a problem so now we've got that done all we need to do is hit record on audacity and then hit play on the MPC and as you can see that's all coming out nicely and is recording as a stereo WAV file of 44.1 kilohertz 16-bit stereo and you can change all of those features this uh, audacity program will actually let you record in 32-bit it's very very good and it's free so we'll just fade that out at least try and do something professionally around here and then we'll crack stop on the MPC and then we'll stop right about there okay so now we've got the stuff recorded onto Audacity how do we get this into a format that we can put on the internet well most uh, internet websites will allow you to upload mp3 files and Audacity will now allow you to export this file as either a WAV or as an OGG Vorbis file which some people think is better than mp3 or you can do it as a regular mp3 itself so providing you've got an mp3 encoder program uh, which uh, lame is usually the best one and you can get lame if you go to the audacity website there are links to the lame mp3 decoder there that you can download place on your computer and uh, as soon as you export to mp3 audacity if it doesn't find it itself it will ask you where you put it and you tell it where you put it and it will then export it as an mp3 so we'll just choose export as mp3 it's asking us uh, where we want to put it so we'll give it a name I'll call this one test and we'll click save uh, because this particular encoder has got the ability to put in uh, ID3 tags it's given this pop up here but we'll, we'll just ignore that and we'll just OK through that and it exports the entire project as an MP3 to the location I previously told it to so if I minimize that down I now have this MP3 file here which if I double click and open it should automatically start playing back the mp3 file that we've just recorded and there we go it is as simple as that so all you need is the correct lead the correct cable to connect from your MPC to your sound card however that input might be then you just need to download that free piece of software called Audacity and once you've got Audacity you can set that up uh, with the correct inputs and outputs hit record hit playback on the MPC and as we say here in the UK Bob's your uncle hope that helps um, please feel free to ask questions by the way, this is me. Hi. Cool.